Hey everyone, Skull902 back here again for Tales and Sonic 1. And, uh, let's just, uh, say right off the bat, uh, I, I very deeply apologize for this taking so fucking long. Uh, in my update video yesterday I explained that, uh, I, I have some other stuff, uh, in mind right now, or that's, uh, taking up some of my time, and, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, this has kind of been, like, uh, how should I, how should I say, this has been sort of on the back burner, you know, uh, it's been something I've been meaning to get to, uh, but, uh, haven't really, uh, uh, like, thought about it much, or anything like that, but I'm, I'm here right now, and actually, I've been, uh, more inspired to, um, go ahead and uh, do some commentary here while I'm waiting for my voice to get better for voice acting because uh, I can do commentary just fine like I can talk it's just that uh, what my problem was was that my, my my tongue was just feeling so weird and it still kind of is so uh, I, I don't know what kind of effect that's gonna have on my ability to do some of my voices but that's not important um, but, like, as far as, uh, being a little more, uh, motivated to do commentary, um, I watched, uh, The Great Clement, his, uh, uh, 10th anniversary sort of look back, and, uh, th those kinds of things always really intrigue me, uh, when, when someone will sit down and talk about, like, what, uh, or, like, how their journey was, uh, making whatever it is they might make, like, uh, the Cinemassacre 200 that James Rolfe made, for example, about, uh, his journey in filmmaking up until around 2008, I think it was. Uh, you know, that's just some intriguing shit. And, uh, uh like, uh, hearing, hearing Clement talk about, like, uh, how he used to record footage and, uh, just all the experiences that he's had as a, as a Let's Player and, uh, like, uh, all the opportunities he's had, uh, from gaining this uh, exposure on YouTube is, uh, is something really cool, and um, you know, I was I was thinking uh, like th th that kind of stuff just gets me more motivated to do uh, the kinds of things that I like, and I really like doing these let's plays here. So uh, it was just it was just uh, inspired to do some more. So uh, I, I may in fact record another part of commentary today and uh, get it out tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, so the parts might actually become more frequent. Uh, but, it, like, that kind of stuff is just really interesting to talk about and uh, uh, listen to. And I've personally been, uh, uh, like, interested in making a video uh, chronicling my own experiences with something uh, since I've been on YouTube for 11 years, 10 with this account. You know, uh, it's, it's something that I'm definitely going to consider doing. It's, uh, it's some good shit. Good inspiring shit. But uh, now we can finally get to the actual meat of this commentary. Uh, right here. Uh, oh, goodness. Don't get crushed, Tails. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, wouldn't want Sim laughing at me again. Anyway. Uh, so, in... Uh, oh, goodness. That was a terrible hit. Anyway. In Spring Yard Zone, I decided to, uh, in the first two acts, take, uh, some routes that I normally wouldn't take. Uh, so, like, if, if you compare this to my playthrough as Sonic, for example, uh, you'll see I, I went through the first two acts kind of differently. Tried to in Act 3, and then, uh, for some reason I just, uh, was thinking about going someplace at the wrong way, and... Eh, that didn't quite work out. So I, I tackle Act 3 like I normally would, but you know, that's that's not a big issue. That's not a big issue at all. Trying to deliberately go down in this little area here is... Oh man, because I really wanted the shield. I always want the shield, because I lost my rings earlier. So I was, I was freaking out a bit if I'd be able to uh, have enough rings to uh, go for the 6th Chaos Emerald. And I was just like, oh man. But, like, uh, to deliberately go down there, it's it's tough to get out. Uh, even for an experienced player like myself. That's not to brag or anything. I've just played Sonic 1 way too much. Um, 
you know, it's uh, it's not impossible. Uh, and I was certainly able to do it, as you can see. I got out of the pit, but, you know, it uh, just bounces you around everywhere, and oof. They, they, they could have they could have put one less uh, bumper or something in there. I, I, I think that would have been manageable. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so uh, here's something I don't remember if I was able to show this off in the Sonic playthrough, either on Super Chaos Comms or my account, but uh, here's the little uh, secret exit. There's two exits, or two signposts, I should say, uh, to end the level. Uh, one's just below this one, and the other one's right here. Jam-packed with coins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about people who mistake rings for coins. Oh, Jesus. Uh how silly. Anyway, uh, quite a lot of rings to collect, so you get a nice ring bonus, even after I had uh, lost all those rings way earlier in the act. So, yeah, good stuff. This is the Six Chaos Emerald that we're going for right now. Uh, surprisingly, much easier than some of the other ones, like uh, number five that I, uh, th that I did uh, earlier in the video after Act 1, like, that one's, uh, th that one's, like, the second toughest of them. Uh, number 3, if I didn't have a strategy down for number 3, that one would be almost impossible. Uh, but, as you can see, I got all the Chaos Emeralds, so I am definitely good for the good ending, and that's, that's fucking grand, man. That's, that's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So now it's just a, a means of uh, going through Act Three, and here's the part where I kind of like fucked up. I was like, "Oh man, I can I can go this way because I'm Tails and I can fly. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Uh, you get the invincibility. That's great. Oh man, uh, wall. Fuck you, wall. Oh wait, where's the top of it? <laughs> where's the top of it? I can't run it. O oh man, I'm gonna have to go back. So, uh." Yeah, that's 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 the trouble that I had going a different route in Act Three. There was definitely an opportunity, and you'll uh, see it. I think it's like up here where I'm going, where I uh, I could have taken a top path that I don't think I ever have taken before. Uh, it, yeah, it's like right there. Uh, but like I've I've never done it. But I'm sure I would have ended up here somehow anyway. But you know, uh, I would like to. Uh, Maybe take a break from what I usually do, and that was a stupid ass mistake. Take a break from what I usually do, and uh, you know, just uh, explore the level a little bit. Just, just do some stuff that I normally wouldn't do, since I am playing as a character that would allow me to do such a thing. But whatever. It, it's all in the end just a way to get to the final zone and beat down Robotnik. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, that isn't a very hard thing to understand, really, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this part, right here, uh, Tails' flight definitely saved me some trouble. Because, you know, I'm, I'm just a total ring whore. I, I just want all the rings. Not coins, rings. <laughs> Absolutely not coins. Uh, so... Now, again, th this is this is one of the things I, I love about uh, these ROM hacks that change the characters. You'll see once I get to the boss, uh, but, like, the invincibility here... Uh, th there's another invincibility box down there. Uh, or down in a little uh, fucking pit that I'm going to be getting, like... Right about now, but again, this is like one of those uh, one of these great things that I, I love about uh, these ROM hacks that change the character. Sometimes you could just completely fuck the game by doing something that you really weren't meant to do. This boss is a great example of it. I can just tell Robotnik to fuck off with his stupid little machine, and yeah, it, it's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope that uh, you liked my commentary here today, telling my nice little story about inspiration and whatnot, and uh, rambling through uh, Spring Yard Zone. So I'll see you next time, and have a good day.